major things that I learned from that race. That, during the race, it was so amazing. Whenever you set a goal for yourself and you have that dream, you make a declaration, you tell the world that you are going to do it. And you're a person of integrity. And you do it. Things will align themselves. Like the world will rearrange itself to allow that to happen. For example, at the 5K mark, that woman ran with me for 3.1 miles. See, she inspired me to run because I knew she was going to run a sub-60. She inspired me. She helped me out. She came at the right time. At the 12K mark, this is just one of the experiences I'll never forget. When Philip said, Ryan, calm down, stick with me, I needed Philip right then, right there. The two, the two, um, you know, Ks before that, one K, a uh, thousand meters before that, I ran a, a 405 and a 410. And I was slowing down five seconds per K. And I needed him at that moment. I needed him. And he knew it. And he came right at that moment. And we ran one together at three minutes and 59 seconds. And it was with him, his encouragement, I was completely inspired. He was leading by example. And then the last incident, when I saw the gentleman start walking, the other guy encouraged him to keep going and not to quit. You know, that is so powerful because so many times in our life, we're so close to the finish. We're so close, but we think we can't make it. We think, oh, it's not going to happen. And we give up. And, and, and this guy was not going to let this other gentleman give up. He, he wanted it so bad for this guy. And he encouraged him and inspired him to keep going. And I just want to let you know that, you know, like I said a minute ago, whenever you declare to the world what you're going to do, the world is going to re rearrange it and allow it to happen. And those three things were so amazing and so profound. And it just, it, it just blew my mind that, uh, that I was able to experience those things. It was, it was just absolutely powerful. So, you know, after the race, I you know, hung out with my family and my friends and my girlfriend and everything. And, and the next day, Sunday, I really started thinking about everything that was going on. Really thinking about it. Thinking about those three experiences, thinking about the whole process. And it was really kind of surreal. Like, wow, did I really do it? Did I really do it? Wow, this is so crazy. And then what really, really just threw me off. I started thinking about my training runs. And the longest training run I had at that pace, okay, the pace that I had had to was a must to run the sub 60, the Tulsa run, the pace that I had to, the longest I'd ever ran at that pace during the whole training was for 4K. Four of them. Four. <laughs> the longest I'd ever ran at that pace was about 15 and a half minutes. Fifteen and a half minutes. But I did it for a whole 59.50. How in the world was I able to do that? How in the world? That's what stumped me. I, I, was, I was amazed, bewildered, that that was the fact. That, that was what was happened. I ran four of those. The most I'd ever kept at that pace for the training was four times. 4K, but yet I did it for 15 straight. How? Well, you know, you can take into account the adrenaline on race day. You know, all that adrenaline. Well, I wasn't really nervous. I wasn't anxious. I didn't have a high. I felt calm. But I mean, the, 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 that's, there's still that race day adrenaline, that rush. Maybe it's because I was running with other people. So, I mean, I was really curious. So I went and talked to one of my coaches. Um, he owns uh, a running store here in Tulsa called Tulsa Runner. And also, you know, if you guys are running and you're from Tulsa, definitely go to his store, Tulsa Runner. I just put in the plug for him. But he's an amazing guy. And, and him and Philip, they actually, they both work there, Trani and Philip. And they, they will really help you out. And, and that's a lot of the reason that, you know, I, I had the successful run was because of their help. But I went to ask him, you know, what was it that, that caused me to do that? And he said, well, Ryan... 
you know, you did your speed workouts during the, during the week, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, and you did some long workouts, right? Like long runs? I'm like, well, yeah, of course, because I'm training for a marathon. <laughs> what I did for five weeks was speed workouts during the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, my easy run on Saturday, and long runs on Sunday. And he said, well, yeah, Ryan, you did the speed workout during the week, but you did the long runs on Sundays, which allowed your body to get used to running for a longer period of time. And, um, you know, still to me, I just took his word on it. You know, what he said makes sense. But what it really boils down to is the slide edge. The simple daily disciplines compounded over time. You know, if I missed a training run during the week, so what? Was, was that going to hurt me that week? No. If I missed one of my long runs, was that going to hurt me that week? No. If I skipped out, if I only did half my workout, was it going to hurt me that day? No. It was a compounded effect over time. Over the five weeks. Five weeks of blood, sweat, and tears. That's what allowed me to run the sub-60. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to share these, uh, these experiences with you. And, and just to encourage you, you know, I'll, I'll repeat it again. When you make a declaration to the world, when you say you're going to do something, and you're a person of integrity, and you get it done, everything is going to fall into place that you need. Everything, whether it be business partners, people in life, relationships, financial issues, big deals, breaks, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Business. Um, and, 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 and relationships, and, and sports, and school, and work, and everything. When you make a declaration, and you tell the world, you stand for what you believe in, and what you believe in has value, it's going to happen. Whether you want it to or not, I mean, I would like to think that you want it to if you're going to do all the hard work to get it, but whether other people believe in you or not, it's going to happen because of those things. And the biggest thing, the slight edge. Do the simple daily disciplines because compounded over time, that is what's going to help you get to, get to your goal and reach your goal. I mean, think about this, guys. I shared with you some training runs where they were unsuccessful. I couldn't even run three miles in under 20 minutes during my training runs. But yet, I ran 9.3 in under 60. How? The world will rearrange itself to allow those things to happen. And the slight edge, the compound effect over time, the simple daily disciplines or simple errors in judgment compounded over time. I chose the simple daily disciplines. Which ones are you going to choose? I had a blast doing this training and sharing all the videos with you and sharing my experiences with you. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. So I thank you so much for, for watching and thank you for your support. And also, I just want to share with you that real fast. Here's my medal. And then also, I got a cool little mug for running a sub-60. And uh, right here, if you can see it or not, uh, 60, 70 club. So men run sub-60, women run sub-70, and that's it. So again, guys, make the declaration to the world. Let the world know what you're going to do. Be a person of integrity. And do the simple daily disciplines because compound over time. That's what's going to allow you to achieve the things you really want out of life. Again, my name is Ryan Celestine. And remember, never settle for anything less than what you truly desire, but most importantly, truly deserve. Have a fantastic day.